Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a brand new feature review, or a feature review for a brand new website to help you customize your Android experience, whether you're a new or experienced or intermediate Android user, or you're considering switching from iOS to Android, maybe you just got an Android device um, for your birthday, Christmas, uh, whatever, or maybe you're just upgrading devices and you got a new device and you want to set it up in a way that looks good to you. So the website that was launched is a site called My Android or hashtag My Android. It's rele- it was released by Google, so it's an official service. Um, you can check it out by visiting android.com slash myandroid. Um, so basically what you um, get by visiting this t- site and taking the test is a customized experience by um, getting a recommendation for a launcher based on what kind of performance you like. Uh, wallpapers, icon packs, and things like that for what kind of look and feel you want. Uh, widgets to get um, easy and quick access to information that you might want. Keyboards for um, emojis, typing, and things like that. Um, and basically recommendations for what apps and services are available to suit your needs. So what you'll do once you go to the site is you'll click on take the test. Um, it'll um, basically take a couple of minutes to help determine your te- um, preferences. When you hit let's go, they'll tell you that to basically think fast, just what you like to get at a glance. So I'm just going to go through and hit whatever kind of things I like. So let's say um, monochromatic is a start for here. Uh, vibrant or muted monochromatic, so let's hit vibrant. Uh, lighter dark theme, I kind of like a dark theme because I'm sometimes I'm laying in bed. Um, looking at stuff, uh, warm just for that, um, geometric or organic, well, I'll hit organic um, just for that, uh, let's say pattern or random, I like uh, random just for the sake of random this ki- this in this um, kind, um, in this case what kind of sandwich you want, um, I'll do this one just for the sake of it, uh, photo reel or illustration, let's do photo reel, uh, realistic or abstract, so let's do abstract, Modern or vintage, I like a, mo- a vintage look. Maxima, I'm a minimalist kind of guy on my home screen, so there's that. I want a little depth as well. Uh, smoother textures, let's do smooth. Uh, Man made natural, let's do natural. Uh, 2017, I'm not sure why there's a difference there. Maybe a, a last year versus this year. Animated or static, let's do animated. Uh, let's see, what do I, maybe let's, let's do squares this time because I have round right now. Uh, what do you like to do or what do you use your device for the most? I do a little bit of everything. Um, I want a cool look. Uh, give me weather, news or music. I usually want, uh, weather. In my case, I'll, I'm probably intermediate or expert, but I'll do both. Um, I don't know why, why I... It looks the same to me. So based on my taste, here's what they recommend I look or like. So let's touch the arrows, see what's available. Um, um, I kind of like this one right here. Uh, so wall, or I guess scroll up rather than up or left to right. So wallpaper, they recommend using Google wallpapers. Uh, for the natural look icon pack, they say uh, Revolution icon pack, which I don't remember if I've ever seen it before, but uh, I guess it's a circular, flat, minimal icon pack. Uh, launcher, they recommend Smart Launcher th- or Smart Launcher 3, which I'm actually using Action Launcher 3 right now. Um, optimize you, make it more efficient. Uh, Oh, it actually looks like low resources, lots of themes, notifications, lock screen integration, very customizable. Um, so maybe worth checking out there as far as uh, personalization goes. Um, I'm not, I don't think I even used that launcher before, but I don't remember offhand. Widgets, they recommend installing news and weather, so I can get news and weather together or just uh, uh, weather if I want. Uh, Gboard or the Google keyboard for my keyboard, so good swiping there emojis integrated and all that so um everything as far as i uh, can recollect especially in smart launcher 3 everything is available for free so this is kind of how i could get my look going on but um basically you can do that you pretty much just take the test 
they'll give you some recommendations on what you like and you got yourself a customized look um what i have going on actually for myself at the moment is uh action launcher 3 with custom wallpaper or custom live wall uh, wallpaper makers so <clears throat> as far as my icon pack goes i'm using a uh, luck dar l-u-k-d-a-r icons so that's how i have the uh, masked icons look um there for my icon pack um and then i'm using a custom or a custom made live wallpaper if you've seen my other reviews on custom live wallpaper maker um i actually have album art going on there with uh pause um play fast forward and rewind and weather touching my um Touching the album art gives me the date, how soon my uh, phone's going to be discharged, how much my CPU is being used in case it starts to feel sluggish, and just some uh, or the one top news headlines. So, which I think I've tied to Google News, so I kind of have that refresh every hour. Um, but basically, the point is that um, using visiting Android.com/slash my Android will help you create a customized look, so that. Um, you can tailor your Android experience to make it your own and get um, a look and feel that is unique to whatever your preferences are. So that's android.com slash myandroid to check it out for free service. And I don't want to say that all recommendations will be free apps, um, but before you install, make sure you are, or make sure you check for prices just to make sure you're not buying something you don't want. Or if you are buying something, make sure it's something you want to buy. But um, definitely worth this a service worth checking out I kind of like it myself I've done it a couple of times now and it's pretty nifty just to kind of see what options are available and if you are thinking about changing up the look and feel of your um, Android home screen then definitely worth checking out to run it um, run through the test see you if and see what recommendations it comes up with uh, but that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find all links, social media links, subscription links, and all of that good stuff at PatelN01.com. And, of course, you can find this review and all reviews on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash PatelN01. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.